until you upgrade your wall, it will be a heaping pile of mess and utterly smoldering. Your main gate is the mantelpiece of your city and can be upgraded. You can improve your castle wall through upgrading to timber, stone, or castle at the cost of materials and gold. Henrik Seven Swords will thank you when you upgrade. You can upgrade the ruins in your city to various structures. Two ruined areas can be made into one workshop, one alchemy lab, one enchanter's services, one workshop. What can they even be? And turn them into houses later. You will get a house for each ruin. If you upgrade the smithy enough, you will get a three-story smithy. The smithy offers various items related to blacksmithing that you can buy at the smithy store. Like any vendor, at the smithy you can sell and salvage and buy back any equipment that you have sold. A level 5 smithy can create dwarven items. Silver armor has high armor rating for early on. Chidden armor increases your magic regeneration and protects you against poison. Orcish plate armor is the more armored variant of the Orcish set. It has no special resistances or bonuses. Orcish scaled armor defends you from cleaving and fire. Dwarven armor split into two categories, same as orcish armor. The dwarven plate armor does not come with any bonuses or resistances. The dwarven light armor comes with a resistance of slash and frost. Like steel, Quicksilver is the more armored variety, but for higher levels. Elven armor increases your magic of regeneration. Far superior to that of the Chidden armor, this will increase your magic of regeneration by an amount much more than your Chidden armor, and also provide more armor itself. Tempering an item will relate specific bonuses to the item's basic stats. Tempering does not increase specific resistances that are enchanted onto the item. Tempering an item will cost a different amount depending on the item and its rarity. Weapons lose durability over time. You can use the smithy to repair this at the cost of gold. I suggest waiting until the item is broken as you will find the most benefit to the repair. To repair an item, simply select it and click repair. You may repair all equipment, but since I'm broke, I cannot do that right now. You can avoid the long repair waits when you don't have a blacksmith available to repair by making a second blacksmith. The first one can do your crafting or your tempering while the second one will do your repairs. You can leave the second one at a low level as it won't matter for the repairs, they'll cost the same and they'll be done instantly all the same. This is what an item with an enchantment and a bonus enchantment will look like when you collect it from the Enchanter's Tower. The job board is available if you would like to select the job within the game. I'm sure they added this past beta because you have a button for all the jobs available in the job board right from your screen. Put too far in the back and they wouldn't have the time to change it to put it in the front of your town. So now They've made a little change by adding the button for a shortcut. Think about it. They're making Elder Scrolls 6.
They don't got the time for this. A tree will look better in the waterway decoration area than a statue. Don't you agree?